We were talking with a group of surgeons and I asked why that most of their patients were above knee amputations. Was there a reason for that? Was it motorcycle accidents, you know, where the, the knee would be crushed or whatever it was? They responded no, that it was a financial thing. Because of the cost of amputations, and one doctor actually told me that it was easier to cut one artery and one bone than to go below the knee and have to cut two bones. It was just overwhelming to find that you know people aren't even given the opportunity. We had a patient that lost a toe to diabetes at an infection, and they amputated up above the knee. I had no idea. You think that there's amputees everywhere, but you don't really know the need. We came back and I naturally Googled what the World Health Organization estimated and when I saw that it was 35 million people cannot access prosthetics because of money, it was like, wow, that was really overwhelming to know. One of the things that Phil shared with me, he said, Ed, people can get prosthetics. But the model is people from the US or other countries will come in, they'll fit someone with a leg, and then they go home. Weeks go by, months go by, things break. The average leg today is in the neighborhood of fifteen to thirty thousand dollars. And the difference between our leg is is that we can build the leg directly to the patient. Our record is about fifty-five minutes from start to finish. And right now, the cost of materials is, in, is around $100. Everywhere around the world that we've seen, prosthetics are too expensive. There's no book out there that describes our leg. So when Michael and Phil began this project, it was, okay, what materials can I use that we can actually get in a remote country. Uniqueness about our model is, is that we can teach people in country to build all of the components that go into the leg and then also build the leg. We can then turn it over to them to continue to help their own people. And without feeding it money, it'll be self-sustaining. Definitely never want to change about Hope to Walk is we never charge the patient. As a doctor, I get to see patients and I treat them and I hope they get better. With Hope to Walk, you see these patients terribly sad and depressed and an hour later, two hours later, you can see them bright and smiling. It's an instant change. The reality is that people cannot get a leg. That's the reality of what's happening around the world. But we have an opportunity to make a difference, to actually change that. I would love to be in a position where Hope to Walk could solve this problem. I don't want people to recognize me for what's being done, but why I do what I do. And that's um, the Lord's blessed me, and I'm passing that blessing back off to them. It's just about hope. It's about people that you know have no way of ever getting a prosthetic, um, giving them hope that, that someday that they will.